Hi Aquarius, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of June 11th, 2018. Please notice I did say June 11th. I did take a week off from videos just to catch up on some things. And if you guys are enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet them. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, you'll find a link to that below this video. You may always contact me at JackieTomlin.com and please check my live calendar for availability. Now, the bonus video for the month of June is going out to Libra. So, if you have a Libra affiliation, that will post later today under monthly videos on the playlist. Looks like a really, really high energy time for Aquarius. There's some celebrations going on. Really great communications across the board with people that you haven't spoke to in a long time. Um, new people coming in. Just really wide open in, in the area of communication. Be warned there's some jealousy surrounding you guys. Uh, a little bit of delays in future plans. And really I'm seeing a delay with maybe the signing of a contract. Some type of legal document there. And a small wish is granted as well. So it looks like a really good week. So what we're looking at is Aquarius for your week of June 11th, 2018. Okay, Aquarius, we start with the Page of Wands, followed by the Nine of Swords. Then we're looking at the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. A lot going on here, so let me break this down for you guys, and we'll pull you three more. Starting with the Page of Wands, Page of Wands being significant, it is the Messenger card. It is delivering a message to you, and beside that, we have that Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is a warning. Don't overthink things, guys. Don't make yourself sick. This is somewhat of a warning on your immune system as well as your mental health. So just be advised of that as you go through the week. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, strong financially. This could also be an increase in income, new money coming in, things of that nature. Moving forward, we have the Six of Pentacles. Now, if you guys are seeking a second job, an additional income, um, or just looking for a job in general, this is going to be a great week because this is what the card of what um, I refer to as working and gaining, really pushing forward in the career front. Then we have the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands indicates you guys are still got some obstacles. You're still going through some things. And I think a lot of you, the majority of you, granted this is a general video, but I think the majority of you are really going through it in the personal life. Then we'll follow that with the Eight of Wands, which is surrounding yourself with complete and total happiness. And it's going to be really big this week. Stick with those that support you. I really want to stress that to Aquarius this week. Moving forward, Ten of Pentacles. Major Arcana of Temperance. Major Arcana of the Hermit. Let's keep going. Major Arcana of the Wheel of Fortune. And the Ace of Wands. Now, you guys know me, I'll never end a reading on a major arcana. Ten of Pentacles, highest card, financial card in the deck. And like I said, you've also got the Eight of Pentacles as well as the Six of Pentacles. This is just going to be a really strong financial week for you guys. Moving forward, we have Temperance. And Temperance shows you guys are trying things new. Testing the waters, doing things differently. It doesn't mean that your balance is restored. It shows you're taking the steps to restore that balance. In, in other words, Aquarius, for once, you're putting yourself first. The Hermit. Love the Hermit. I call it the Wisdom card. This card shows you guys are on the right path. That lantern shows the path is being lit for you. You are doing what you are supposed to be doing for the time being, but definite strong indication you're on the right path. Wheel of Fortune. What can I say? It's going to be a busy week. You guys seem to be a little bit overwhelmed. Like I said, there's still some obstacles to get through that are not financially related. But, um, so anxiety is going to be a little high. And then we have that Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is spring, which is now <clears throat> placing you guys in a new beginning under all areas. Areas. So, what we're looking at for the week. Trying things new, knowing you're on the right path, and feeling a bit overwhelmed. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.